check your oil. We're going to do the pre-trip. Uh, so this inspection. is another sand pro that we have. Yes, this is the sand. This is the sand pro that we that we used regularly before we got the new one. And uh, this is still a great machine. It's got the blade on the front that the old one didn't have. Um, so the first thing we do is pre pre-trip inspection. So we need to move the lever to the blade out of the way. And the seat comes forward, and you see all the lipstick right here. You just pull that out and wipe the blade and stick it back in. And see what we got for oil. And we're good. Just below the just below the swiggle here. So that, so that's, uh, the oil's good and the gas is right here. Check that to make sure it's full. And it says according to the cap here, it says that it's full. And it is pretty full. So now to start this baby. <coughs> Here's the choke, and I put the uh, the throttle is right here. There's rabbit, there's turtle, and there's choke right in the middle. Lift the lever, the choke lever, and turn the ignition switch. <laughs> So, now to, to run this machine, uh, we need to put the blade up. Um, the throttle, as I said, is right here. It's a hydrostatic, so what that means is uh, basically I push this way to go forward and I push this way to go back. So that's forward and that's reverse. Um, this is the handbrake and this is the lever to engage the brakes at the back. And th again, this is the lever to engage the uh, scoop at the front that we don't use very often. So any, any vehicle that's got a seat belt on it needs to go on whenever you're operating a, a machine on the belt. This is for a, for a blow pack, for a big blower, and the bungee cord is not here, but usually the, the bungee cord uh, goes from it's here okay. across to here and it holds the blower in place. Uh, we, use, we use these rakes a lot, not only for raking the sand, but also raking the grass. If there's extra grass around the bunker, we rake that up. Um, check for hydraulic leaks because they're also uh, not a good thing for golf courses. So check for hydraulic leaks, and the tires are good. And I think that pretty well covers it. So in the morning, when you come out to your machine, you can look on the ground and see, you know, the nice clean shop floor. You'll be able to see if there's any oil leaks or oil patches, and uh, those are things you want to notice right away and point out to your supervisor. Okay.